So many people are asking me like, what the heck is glitch art? Okay, that's a lot to explain, but let me give you just like some basics. Glitch art is taking errors and uh, malfunctions from um, many different things like computers or programs and video games and sound and everything and harnessing them and turning them into something like an art form. I'm currently attending the School of the Art Institute of Chicago and one of my classes is glitch art under John Setrum and um, we've been learning a lot in that class and it's awesome. If you ever get a chance to take a class on glitch art, I totally recommend it. So do it. But for now, this video will have to suffice for you. <sighs> so whoever uses this tutorial, I would like you to submit your own glitch art to um, a Tumblr that I created. And I'll have that link at the end of the video and also down in the description box. And you can add it and anybody can submit. I'm going to put them all up and I want to see everyone. Um, and what they've made because that'd be really cool. Yeah, so Okay, we're gonna start from grabbing an, an image off the internets and um, I'm gonna recommend that when you choose an image choose an image that you kind of want to mess up or something that is messed up because um, That creates more of a concept behind your glitch art. So let's see what's messed up my love life Gonna grab an image so that we can glitch. All right, perfect. I'm gonna save this to the desktop. And also, one thing to make sure is to always duplicate your image, always, because within Glitch Art, you can um, really mess up a file forever and never be able to open it again, which is called breaking a file. Um, open it back up in preview and just so you guys know, you can export this image into different file types besides JPEG. So saying like the format of this image is a JPEG, you can also change it to a JPEG 2000, you can change it to a TIFF if you want, you have all these different options which aren't actually all the options you can use, but we're going to work with it. So I'm going to actually change this JPEG into a JPEG 2000 because you'll get different results from different formats. So there we go, I'm going to save it. Um, and I'll save this on the desktop, close out of this. Okay, I'm also going to duplicate this image, so you never know. Okay, so now I'll take this one into text edit, which is right there. And there you'll see all this coding. Lots of different coding, it doesn't really make sense, but that's okay. So you're going to go up to edit, and go to find, find and replace. Click that. Okay. So I've typed in some letters here. You can type in basically whatever you want. You, the first thing though I need to tell you is that you don't want to affect the coding up here. This is called the header. This basically tells um, the image how to open, I guess. And you don't want to mess with that because it won't be able to open then. So we're going to try to find something that isn't in here. So I'm going to type in FD. Let's see, if there, are there any of those? I'm not sure. Do you find? FD. There's 14 FDs and it doesn't look like they're up here. So that's good. The first one starts right down here. So that's good. It doesn't touch up here. We're going to replace it with laugh out loud because that just, that's just how it's going to go. Replace all and say done. Okay. So then you're going to go to file, save, and then we're going to open her up. Here it is. And there it is. It is messed up. It is glitched it's been glitched so let's open up the before before and after so there you go you just glitched now what you got to make sure that you do is to take this one and s export it back to JPEG format because you want to do this just so that you bake it down you want to make sure that this glitch doesn't change anymore and that you can upload it to the internet and it'll stay the way that you just glitched it so I'll just save this as what is my life to the desktop. And there we go. There it is. It's ready to be uploaded. I hope y'all had a great time glitching.